What's up the world family? Welcome back to another video and guys I know it's been a long time we haven't posted on this channel but we are back like we never left and we are back with different content but more deeper into our relationship. So guys you guys are gonna get to learn a whole different side of us that you probably haven't seen before but guys why not? You guys deserve to actually see the side of us because we want to give you guys the realness of our relationship, the pure realness of our entire marriage, of our family. So you guys get to understand us and actually learn that nobody in the world is perfect. It's not what you seems. Everything is not fairy tales. Every day is not no walk in the park, sunny day, right? So today, as you guys know, me and my wife have been married for over almost 10 years now, right? You know, we've been together, but we've been married for almost seven years. <clears throat> See, I don't remember, I don't remember. This is bullshit, man. I don't remember how long we've been married for. What a shame on me, man. But, guys, we've been married for for seven years now, almost eight. But my baby should be coming down anytime soon right now. And I'm vlogging because we're going to talk about this. Babe, where you at? Come down. I'm going to give you guys a full insight of what's going on right now today. So today is um, Saturday morning, and I'm here in the kitchen. I'm making some fried dumpling. I got a flour and I got self rising flour. Back home, we usually use the flour and the baking soda, but currently I don't have no baking soda right now, so I'm just using the self rising flour. And over here, we're making some smoothies. Some smoothie. So we're making some smoothie. We just finished working out. And we got the chia seed and we got the hemp seed. This is really healthy for your heart, healthy for your immune system, healthy for your body in general. So we use it in our smoothie and today I purchased this guys because as you guys know I'm into working out I never usually use um, protein powder and stuff like that I usually just go natural but what I don't like the reason being why I'm trying to use um protein powder now and stuff like that because with me right when I go to the gym and I work out I get bulk for the moment because you know you just work on your muscles but after a day when I rest I get skinny again. So I don't really keep the weight. I don't know if you guys noticed my body during the videos and stuff. I don't keep the weight that much. So I want to actually work out because I work out good. I want to actually keep the weight and actually get a little bigger. So this is why I'm actually going to try. Somebody recommend for me to try this protein powder. And that is what I'm trying today for you guys. And my baby actually bought a protein powder as well. She bought this one. This is not an original one that she actually wanted. The one that she wanted, I think it's called Isol or something like that. But this is this is the one my baby bought, and she's gonna try this one. So, guys, where's she at, babe? I don't know where she's at right now, but once you get in the kitchen, we're gonna have a deep conversation about, you know, show you guys the realness in a relationship. And it's okay, because at the end of the day, still, it's for you to communicate and talk about it and get the common grounds. And these are minor stuff that anybody should be able to talk about. If, if you guys are in a relationship and you guys can't talk about this and fix it, something is going on, you know? So stay tuned. This is a brand new journey on this channel where we're going to show you guys a whole different side of us entirely that we never show you guys before. And this is my good luck chain, guys. It's blessed from Jamaica. So if you guys see me rocking my chain, just know that it's all blessed. Hey! Hi! How you feeling? Professor wife? This is my professor wife. <laughs> What's up, y'all? No, but listen, we have a really... A uh, big debate that we want to include you guys on and tell me what y'all think about this. Wrong. It's okay. not a big debate. Okay. It's not a big debate. All right, what is it? It is a minor. It's a minor issue for my wife. No. Not, not even for me, because no, I'm not no, even bothered. But this, is, this is stuff that happens in a lot of kitchens. Right. Right? So, like, my friends and stuff that cook or whatever, when their mother-in-laws come around and when people come around, they'll be like, oh no, do it like this or do mm -hmm. it like that. So this is for everybody. That's why when people cook, they say, I don't want nobody in the kitchen. Because it's a big deal around the world, not just us. Girl. I believe in that, man. I you believe do? when you're cooking, certain... I don't mind people being in the kitchen, but if you're going to talk, I think it should be out, out of the kitchen. The kitchen right? I don't want a shadow cooker, like a shadow chef that telling me what to do or what not to do. And also, same thing with driving. Imagine you're driving and somebody tell you, oh, to drive when you've been driving for years. It get annoying after a while. So that's basically what happened last night. And this is why. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> this, is, this is why my baby's bothered. No, I'm not bothered. <laughs> he needs to stop saying. 
saying that. All right. Okay. Well, tell me what's the problem. Let, let's hear. Let's hear, let's hear my baby side so first. So first, I'm not bothered. This is a fact. And mm -hmm. what I was laughing at was his OCD about it, like how serious he takes it. And it's not that serious. <laughs> it's just chicken. But he's really like OCD. He will keep thinking about it until he do it. And it's just so funny to me. So what happened yesterday was he. He likes to season his food a certain way, and he likes to fry the chicken and then gisaw it. How you say that in English? Stew it. Stew it. There stew you go. Stew chicken, yeah. He likes to do stew chicken. So he likes to fry it a little bit and then do stew chicken. So... Let me put this camera on. Keep talking. Right. Okay. You can see me or not yet. Hold on. I'm going to fix it up. That's what you're for me for coffee Ooh. All right, go. So he likes to stew the chicken. So he likes to fry it and then stew it. So, excuse me. So because he didn't put the browning on it, so it could stew. Because he, he, his theory of the chicken is, when you put the browning and fry it, it keeps the chicken dark. Right. My theory is, if you put the browning in the gravy, automatically the chicken is gonna be dark. His theory is is a little bit different too. So he feels like he doesn't want to cook the peppers and the onions. He don't want to fry that. He don't want to put the seasoning in first. He rather just season the chicken and just put that in first, and then he'll put like the peppers and everything else after. Me personally, I feel like you could put your vegetables first, and then. You can put your chicken in after, or you could put it in together. It doesn't, to me, my fight is, it doesn't matter what form you put it in. If you cook good, it's going to taste good. Right. That's that's my fight. So, you could put the peppers last first. You could put the chicken first, second, third. You could fry it. You could just gisaw it. However, if the chicken's going to taste good, it's going to taste good. All right. What was so your fight? It wasn't a fight, like I said. No, but what's your your comeback for it? All right, so this is this is what happened, right? Mm -hmm. First of all, everybody is. I mean, I mean, first of all, my wife and I we eat two different cultures. Right. We have two different ways of cooking. We think different. We do stuff different. So when it comes to cooking, the way she cooked Puerto Rican style is different from the way we cook. Um, Jamaican stewed chicken. Yeah, she but your yes, stewed chicken don't taste different from mine. But wait, let me finish. Okay. So cool. it's totally different. So what happened yesterday? She was, I was, I took the chicken out. It was in the sink. It melted and everything. So I was doing something else. So she started seasoning the chicken for me. Yeah. So she started, she started seasoning it, but then she didn't add the browning. You know, when you're doing um, brown stewed chicken, you need a browning on it. Mm -hmm. So I forgot that she, she didn't add the browning. So I started to. Put it in a pot. I'm like, oh, and fry it. I, yeah, I started fry it with the oil and everything. And I said, and I see that um, there's no browning on it. So I'm like, no, no, babe, I need browning. So what I did? <laughs> yeah, this is ridiculous, guys. Look what he did, time. I um, I turned the stove off. I took the chicken out, put it back in the seasoning container, and I add my browning. <laughs> Mind you, we all starving. Like nobody <laughs> even cares at this point if the chicken is orange, brown, green. We don't even care. Because by rights, literally, you should actually season your chicken, put it brown in, and let it marinate for at least three hours. So, I, like I said, we're like a last-minute cooking thing, and then we need to eat. So I'm like, I need the browning. So it's a set way of cooking. So she was bothered. All right, matter of fact, she wasn't bothered, but she had something to say. I was about laughing mine. at him. She had something to say. In my words, I'm like, listen, babe, that's just all we cook. That's Jamaican. You have to go by that order. She feel like, <laughs> it don't matter how you put it in. Because even when we cut up the onions and the season and the skillet and whatever it is, we add that basically near to the last. So they could cook up in the, in the sauce and everything. We don't add that first because then the season is going to be cooked out. So... <laughs> Who, who came up with this theory, guys? Because the seasoning is not going to be cooked out. If you yes. cook it first to last, it's still going to all cook. You can't put the onion time. and everything right after you put the chicken in to get started right away. No, I mean, that's you, our way. You can't put potatoes in but when they, you start. Right. You got to put it after thing. because then the potatoes, they mash up. Right. And that's what you're not trying to do. Mash up or mash up me? Does it make it over there? It gets like mashy. Like, yeah, you get yeah. mashed up. All right, all right, so you can't do that. 
But when it comes to seasoning, you can all, well, me personally, I mean, whatever he feels is, is his way. But I just, I just was laughing about that because. Guys, my baby was cloning me last night. I just couldn't believe like it. Like I did something wrong. No. You know? It was the OCD behind it. But listen, I mean, he cooks however he cooks. But I feel like there's really no set order he feels like this is a set order this is how all the jamaicans do it yes I, it is a set no order set order to when it comes to cooking i believe in set order that's why that recipe that you have to follow this first you have to follow it step by step mm -mm. so when it comes to chicken you can't so I, you have it tastes good don't, don't get me wrong when you do it it tastes good i'm not saying don't taste good my baby would have literally put the chicken, no season on the chicken, it puts every season in the pot and it just no, cook together. No, that's if I'm like really speaking. Yeah. No, I season my chicken. See, so why you season it all the time? But if you're rushing, you just do it, right? But it still yeah, tastes the same. Yeah, how I, yeah. But right now, so let me, let me ask you right now. If you're not rushing right now, mm -hmm. since, since it don't taste different at all, why season it first then? I put a raw chicken in the pot and then have it season, add water, let it cook up together all the time. Well, that's if I'm like really See? rushy. Exactly. If you're really rushing, you do that. But if you're not rushing, you do the regular way of seasoning. Yeah, but so that's I what I'm saying. Now. I was actually seasoning my chicken, and I had to follow that way. So because I followed that way, you start laughing and start clowning no, me that you're gonna no. taste the same way regardless. It was. It was gonna taste the same. It was gonna even look the same way. Cause if the brown is not on the chicken, it's not gonna look that brown like it should, like a real authentic Jamaican stew chicken. So let me school you real quick. When you're cooking Jamaican stew chicken, you wanna make sure you, you see that brown look on it, that thick First brown of look. all, you don't even people might quote me for this, but. You don't even have to fry your chicken to then stew it. It's not fried though. It's not necessarily frying. It's like a little cook up, you know what I'm saying? What do you call it? No, that? no. It's all you are frying. So it's like that also I used to tell him like that when it comes to Spanish food, guisao food, you don't really need oil. It beats the purpose of the health issue. Right. Like I agree. You're I agree trying 100%. to run away from the oil. I agree with that 100%. And then you go gisa, you're going to go fry the chicken and then put water on fried chicken? No, not. We don't want to fry crispy. It looks like. It doesn't give it a little color. It's I, not really fried. It doesn't give it. But the, you don't need oil. It's just a raw look. We put the oil so it could just scorch it a little bit. Scorch the chicken a little bit. And then, we don't want to fry it crispy like ready to eat. And it make it cook faster too. And then we no, add the water. No. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, baby. But you know, teachers are everybody has their way of cooking, right? And I definitely respect his mm -hmm. way. But me personally, I just thought it was really funny that he feels you need to do the chicken this way, this way, this way in order for it to taste. We gotta like follow, we gotta follow the protocol. Mm -hmm. If you gotta, if you go on a car to so drive. So if I'm making a cake, right, mm -hmm. and on the instructions it says to put the milk first, right. but instead I crack the eggs first and then put the milk. Is it gonna make a difference? But it make you feel better. You find it. But listen, it's about what. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Hear me out, though. Hear me out, though. If. Uh -huh. Like I said though, if that's what your Ray is doing and that's the way to do it, you're gonna follow what He started way to do it. making good stew chicken while he got with me because I don't Stop know what you were talking about. Stop the cat, baby. I got with my husband when he was not cooking on the stew Stop the chicken. cat, baby. Stop it. Stop <laughs> and the, the first cat. time I ever made him stew chicken, I would never forget his reaction. No, my baby made good stew chicken. He was like, wow, this tastes so yeah. good, babe. I was like, thank you. And then, you know, I would tell him what I put in it. And then his stew chicken tastes amazing. Oh, oh so you're trying, to say, you're trying to say my stew chicken, my stew chicken is inspired by yours. That's yeah, why. Yeah, it's inspired cap, by me because it's like just like Spanish chicken. No, no, it Yes, doesn't. it does. It's like real Jamaican, real Jamaican stew chicken. No, guys. Hey, guys, talking about stew chicken, the stew chicken is right here. Let me show you guys. Not much, though. But, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys could see it, but it's. Dark with a dumpling and some yam. You know what I'm saying? If my baby, the way my baby wanted to do it, the stew chicken would look like orange, like light. Not orange. I don't make orange. It's brown, but not brown like that. Yeah, but authentic stew chicken have to be brown like this. So, so that's where it comes in. The color, color makes sense. When it comes to food, everything makes sense. So to get the right color, I had to do what I what I did. Who said that's the right color? <laughs> I'm just trying to understand. What's the right color for the real authentic Jamaican stew chicken? What's the right color? Purple? No, it's brown. Right, that's what I'm saying. A real, certain food, right? Just by looking at you like, damn, that food tastes good. No. So I was going for that. 
Yeah. And it tastes good. It looks good and tastes good. Yeah, you use my... You no! <laughs> Who seasoned the chicken? Anyway, I seasoned the chicken. Yeah, because I was doing something else. Yes. But in reality, that, that's guys, not the last seasoning for the chicken. Don't listen to him. That's not the last seasoning for the chicken. Because even after you add the water, you got to add more seasoning. Of course. Add water, like, and I did that. I give it the, the last touch. And, and I taste it. It tastes good. It tastes good. The food guys. is amazing, guys. Be honest. Rate 4 to 10. My chicken Tastes one. like my chicken. So no, my you chicken my... is a 10 out of 10, honey. We cook the same kind of chicken. <laughs> this is why I tell him. But one thing my husband does like, one thing I don't like. So the thickness on my tongue, it gives me like, like saliva feeling. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't like thick stuff. It makes it, uh, I don't like it. And my husband likes a lot of thick stuff. Like, like even when it comes to soups. He likes it really thick. Not too thick though, like. I don't like it. And even when it comes to curry goat, like I, I like the gravy to be watery. Not too watery, I don't, yeah, I don't like it too watery. Yeah, he like it more thick, I like it more watery. I don't know how to explain it. He likes stuff a lot more thick than me, so, you know, I, his chicken is amazing. And yes, he makes amazing chicken, even if I didn't season it for him. But I just feel like order doesn't matter. You know what it, you know what it comes down to? It doesn't. It can still taste authentic because like some people put water in cake. Mm -hmm. Tastes some good. People some people put milk. It tastes good. Like, that's what's what I'm the saying. Problem? Everybody have their own way of doing it. They come down to us respecting a person's way of doing stuff. No, You shouldn't I... be bothered by the way a person do their stuff. No. If they want to take a chicken or two, I add browning. If you choose to cook and you say, you know what, babe, I forgot the sasson. Let me go add the sasson. See, he's missing the. Who am I to get mad of the way you want to cook? Stop saying food? I'm not mad. mad. That's but ridiculous. Not mad, but who am I to even say something? No, I'm not getting mad. Not mad, he's but who am not, I to say something about he's not your way of doing it? Right, but you're not understanding the principle. I'm right. not getting mad, and I'm mm -hmm. not getting mad of the way you're doing it. Right. The moral of the story is the chicken's gonna taste good regardless. I don't. I don't I agree. Would, I don't agree. That's what we. So are you're, you're saying right now, if I put a raw chicken, add some water, add some seasoning, gonna taste the same way. I, same way as when I season it, I marinated three hours before. You didn't marinate it. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh. Just in case what I did, it's gonna oh. taste the same. It, it will taste the same. Yeah, that's what I you're standing on. Guys, you leave your comment right now and tell me if the chicken will taste the same if you do throw it in a pot at, at the season after, or if you season your food first, the chicken first, then marinate, then cook it. Tell me, cause she's saying there's no difference. It, when your chicken is boiling, Ooh. all the season is gonna be in there and it's gonna taste good if you season it good from the job. It don't matter if it's 10 hours in the fridge, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you're starting in hand scratch. I personally feel like there's nothing like fresh food when you're doing it all right then and there and cooking it. So you, just, so you don't believe in marinating your food? Like let it stay in the fridge for like overnight? You don't believe in that? I don't like that. Once the chicken is defrosted, I don't want to put it in the fridge to take it out. It tastes like refrigerator. Alright, this is my theory, right? That tastes like refrigerator. Hear me up. Okay. This don't taste like refrigerator. Yes, it do. In your opinion, I respect that. But this is my, my opinion, my theory behind it, right? If you walk into, mm -hmm. say for example, some, somebody is frying fish. Okay. Uh, you know, fish scent is strong, right? Mm -hmm. And if you walk in that room and you spend one minute in that room and walk out, you're not gonna walk out smelling like fish. You will. But if you walk in that room and you spend three hours, the fish scent gonna be soaked on you, on your clothes, and you walk out smelling like fish entire on your body. Regardless Same when, you, chicken, when the you walk in, in, guys, you're gonna smell like fish when you come out. Regardless. Wait, what do you got? Floor only, right? This one, the one that's open. Yeah, give me some of that one too. Okay. So go ahead, babe, go. So I, I really believe that marinating may your chicken soak, may your seasoning soak up in the chicken, and let's give it that extra good taste. You know what I'm saying? So that's my belief, you know? And my baby don't believe in that. I don't. <laughs> Put them on. I don't. I've, I've been around some amazing chefs. And you know, they just put a raw chicken in the pot and let's put season after. No, 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 no. Who does that? Who cooks like that? You keep mentioning that like people cook like that. Nobody no, but you're saying it make a difference though. You're it saying. doesn't make a difference. And so people cook like season, that if it don't make a difference. Once you season your food, you seasoning in it. You seasoning it. That's okay. it. I've been around amazing cooks mm -hmm. where they cook starting the same day. They don't marinate anything. Their food is spectacular, guys. Spectacular. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not gonna sit here. Floor. More flour. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna sit here with a bunch of theories. 
that is not proven a point. It's, it's like scientifically proven a fact. If you season your food good, it will taste good, marinated or not to me. All right. I said this is Leanna's scientifically proven <laughs> fact. <laughs> so guys, listen, that's the debate we yeah. had yesterday. Yeah. And we went to the gym and the debate popped up again. <laughs> yeah, how? When was the gym, the debate brought up again. I don't know, I don't know how we brought up again. And I'm like, man, listen. <laughs> He was like, oh, you was just getting mad. I said, no, you were saying that my food ain't going to taste good. And I was saying it's going to taste good regardless. My, my thing man, was like, who am I to sit and watch you cooking and to say something? I don't want to just eat. I That's what time. I'm saying. Nobody got time to be taking food out. Listen, we were so hungry that I'm looking at him like, is he serious right now? Going to do this? And he would take his time cooking and take his time. And I was literally like, no. I even had to season the chicken. Because he was, was still rushing. taking his time. Because I was time. doing something else, though. What I was doing? I was doing something else. Guys, I cook one, two, three. Yeah, my baby cook fast, man. Shut up. I think my food got to cook good, man. That's oh, so I, my food ain't good. No, but it ain't good like mine. No. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I cook better than you, baby. And that's 100. No, right that away. is not 100. <laughs> I am so All right, we're going to have to have a cook off. And the kids gonna judge the food, right or wrong? No. Who's gonna judge the food? Your mom? Yeah. All right. A grown up has to judge the food. All right. Me? I have, well, you know, I do respect how he cooks. And yesterday was just one of those hungry days that I felt like it didn't matter. Like, just hurry up and cook. Like, you're wasting time. Right. So I was just laughing at his OCD ways, how he really took the chicken out of the frying pan <laughs> to then put the season, while it's hot and stuff, he <laughs> then put the season, the, the little browning back on it and then put it back in the frying pan. It was just so funny. I was just cracking up. Like you couldn't just, when you add your water, you couldn't just add the browning, the onions, the everything and it was going to taste good. You got to soak on the chicken. Baby. Okay. I yeah. got it. Because browning to me doesn't even have a good taste. You can't put too much brownie, it would taste yeah. bitter. You don't want to do that. It would taste bad. Yeah, you don't want to do so it. So people also use brownie, I guess, for like baking cakes, cakes and, and stuff. stuff. Like that. You really mostly give it a color. It's huh? just for color. Yeah, and yeah. A, a little thickness. It makes it yeah. maybe thick a little bit. It does. It does. But um, listen, that food was amazing. Yeah, he and always makes it. It tastes good. good. The simple chicken. fact because I take chicken and then put a brownie in. That's why it tastes good. If I had never did that, that chicken would never taste good. I'm telling you that much. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, listen, stay Miss tuned. With the bowl. Listen, stay tuned. We're just trying to give you guys the real lesson in our marriage because you guys know nothing is perfect. I'm not saying this is nothing crazy. It's just a reminder debate that we have throughout the day so you guys can understand the realness of marriage. Marriage is not what you think it is, or every day is like fairy tales. We honeymoon. No, you know but it's not like to get really angry about yeah. it unless your your husband disrespects you and says right. like oh i know a girl who would have made a different right that's right. like wow mm -hmm. did you just say that he's disrespectful but i'll crack myself up i don't care I like that laugh. Yeah, show me that laugh again. <laughs> yeah, guys. So that was what we that was what our debate was. And of course his brother was agreeing with him because he's Jamaican. <laughs> I was like, damn, I'm outnumbered. I don't have no Spanish people to agree with me. <laughs> no, that was so funny. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. A lot of Jamaican might agree with me, a lot of Puerto Rican might agree with you. So it's like it's come to respect. No, not really, because maybe they might do the same, like marinate. I know Spanish people who marinate their chicken for mm -hmm. hours and then put it in the thing. It, but it, I don't like it. To me, it tastes like refrigerator. It all come come down to just, it's like respecting that person's opinion or the way of doing stuff, mm -hmm. you know? And that's what it comes down to. Like, all right, you do it that way. No, fine. that's not what it comes down to because I respect to? you. Not I'm respect just me, saying but... the, the moral of this was... Is it gonna taste good if you do it in that order or not? And well, I think it is. It's gonna and taste you good, but it's gonna not. taste better if I do it that way. No. You know what I'm it's gonna taste better. Well, in your in your opinion, I respect that. There we go. I'm cooking some fried dumpling right now. Yes, he is. With some ackee and sawfish. I and told him you don't have to, but 
You know, guys, it's not like a Jamaican breakfast, man. My baby, my baby making a smoothie. Yeah. So I'm still here waiting for the smoothie, guys. Oh, you want me to do it? Yes, I'm waiting like 20 hours. I, mean, I asked for smoothie from last night. Stop no it. No daddy smoothie, man. I'm trying to tell you. It's <laughs> such a lie. But guys, listen, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We want you to what? Like, like. share, <laughs> and what? Sub. Subscribe. Sub to the family, guys. We sorry I haven't been posting this channel. But we're back like we never left, man. And we love you guys. You better time. keep your word if you say that. Nah, I'm back like we never left. Ooh. So guess what? Get this video to how many likes you want. I'm not even pressure go, you guys. I'm going to go small. I nah, say we 5K just, likes. Yeah, we're just coming back. I'm not even going to say 5K likes. Mm -hmm. Get this video to 4K likes. Okay. Simple. We love you guys. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.